Let's talk about AI racial discrimination in the workplace. Bloomberg conducted an investigation on OpenAI and its use in reviewing resumes. According to the article, the publication used a common and fairly simple experiment of feeding fictitious names and resumes into AI recruiting software to see just how quickly the systems displayed racial bias. Reporters use voter and census data to derive names that are demographically distinct, meaning they are associated with Americans of a particular race or ethnicity at least 90% of the time, and randomly assign them to equally qualified resumes. When asked to rank those resumes 1,000 times in GPT 3.5, favored names from some demographics more often than others to an extent that would fail benchmarks used to assess job discrimination against protected groups. In a statement to Bloomberg, OpenAI said this doesn't reflect how most clients incorporate their software in practice. This highlights an ongoing issue with AI in the workplace. While artificial intelligence offers many great possibilities for our work as we currently conduct it, allowing us to do it faster and in some cases more accurately, it is not a magic wand and what we have seen is that AI, because it essentially learns from the internet, can reflect back those biases that are already in the internet, particularly with these large language models that are using broad swaths of data, mostly completed by humans, in order to generate a work product. And as a result, we've seen that AI can be just as racist or just as sexist as some of the worst elements that we see on the internet. That's not to say that these can't be fixed and a lot of companies that work on AI products are trying to do just that. But in the meantime, it means that we can't use AI as a magic wand and assume that it is gonna act in a way that is unbiased in the workplace. We can use these tools and we should be using them, but organizations and employees have to keep a careful eye on them and not assume that AI can't make real mistakes.